So one of the marvelous topics that God has put on my heart today to talk about, which you may be completely surprised about, given the, the nature of God is supposed to be loving and kind, is the question of, if you're an idiot, how do you know if you're an idiot? Because idiots often make mistakes, and idiots often avoid and abate the law, and idiots often embarrass their business, and idiots often do things that is not, well, is actually witless, and idiots often think that they're in charge of people, and idiots often feel that they're over the human body, and idiots often sell out strangers, and idiots often do things that is not marvelous, and idiots just never stop their shit, and idiots don't ever care about you one bit, and idiots want your power and their own too, and idiots just don't often know then don't know what to do. And idiots always think that they're omnipotent, and idiots often think that they're omniscient, and idiots often want to be omnipresent, but they're really not, because only Lord is Lord God, Most High, can do that. But when I talk like this, what do you think of me? When I squawk like this, what do you feel of me? When I see you shit all over my life with your lies, what do you feel about me is that you are God over me, and you're just not. You see, there's only one Lord God over the entire world and universe, and he comes by many names, and we know that, and we proclaim that, and many of the songs about God all over the world, in all languages, and all races. But here's the deal. If you're interfering with another human being's life that you know absolutely nothing about, that you don't interpersonally know, and you don't actually have any experience or strife with, then you should not be anywhere near that boy or that girl. You should not be anywhere standing near that man or that woman. And here's the deal. If you are representing something in your community, and yet you are using your p position and your quote-unquote practice, like a law practice, to harm people, you have just screwed your life into malfeasance, malpractice, and practically a lethality case. In life, we have most of the time to speak the truth about people's rights. And people's rights is what last election was about. People's rights is what the next election was about. People's rights is what serve Americans best. And people's rights are what belong to me and to you, despite what you might bequest. And here's the deal. You can request people to do shit all day long, but that doesn't mean they're going to do it. We have a whole generation of kids coming out of a version and a feel of entitlement. And the entitlement factor means that they think they're entitled to other people's lives, bodies, information, documents, and possessions. And that is a problem for America. We also have a whole shitload of people coming in from the other parts of the world who think that they're above people like me, people like you, and people all over the world to tell them how to live, to tell them how to love, to tell them what to believe, and that is not true. In life, we have to stop and look at our life. Where are you right the fuck now, motherfucker, in your life? Where are you in terms of your finances? Where are you in time in terms of your faith? Where are you in terms of your fitness? Where are you in terms of your fellowship? Where are you in terms of your profession? Where are you in terms of your career? Where are you in terms of your wealth development? And where are you in terms of your philanthropy to the world? And if you don't have any life balance going on for you, if you're preoccupied with someone else's life, then you really are out of strong, strong, you are really in trouble in front of God. Because God did not put you on this earth to be over any people. And if you earned your right to be president of the United States, then you earned it. But you still don't have the right to be over people to the point that you're taking away their body parts. You're taking away their rights to their, their situations. And they're, you're taking away everything that matters to them. Now, I'm not picking on our President Biden. And I'm not pissing on our Vice President Harris. But what I'm telling you people is that you don't have the right to interfere with my life or anyone else's. And if you can't understand what I'm saying, then you really have not graduated past junior high. And for that matter, you really should only be reigning knee high. And maybe you can't afford to go on the rides, or maybe you're not tall enough to reach uh, the point that you can put yourself on any ride at an amusement park or Disneyland. And maybe I'm just being silly at this point and getting out of hand. But here's the deal. You fucked my life. You participated in. You aided and abetted law enforcement in harming me, raping me, mutilating me, and molesting me. And yet you fucking think I'm going to tolerate you one second. Never going to happen. And I do have the skill to find you if God would allow. But right now God says, don't even worry about that shit. I'm taking him out in his life and he will never be coming back again.